Okay, how are we doing out there? First things first, my name is Ken Bird. I'm the creator of Luminous 4K Screen Paint. Using ambient light rejection technology gain, you might hear some notifications popping up on my phone back and forth. I'm in a few conversations with a few customers. Um, one is still chiming in. All right, so uh, this is the Sony uh, Ultra Short Throw Projector that I got off eBay for around $550. Actually, this thing came super minty, which means bottom line is it came in that packaging was actually top notch. They could have dropped this thing down a flight of stairs and this projector would have never gotten damaged. So there's my projector right there, filling out the entire screen. And man, I'm telling you, I freaking love it. So uh has, um, let me get to the back of this real quick. There's the HDMI ports and all the goodies from the side. And one of the things it has that my other projector didn't have, it has lens shift. So I can move the screen up and down and side to side, which I freaking love. I do love lens shift. So keep in mind, I can put this projector anywhere I want on the floor, and I can actually position it where I want it to go with this little lens shift capability right there. These are the dual filters. Of course, that's the side of it right there. This is my old projector right here. Let me show you what came with it. So came with a manual oh man much to read much to read much to read it came with warranty on my sony projector i'm going to be actually posting this merchant on my website because he did such an excellent job with this it came with uh this is the usb cables and they're used for something really interesting so my screen is my projector is interactive which means i can write on my screen if i want to because do, 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 do. It came with these bad boys. So this will allow me to actually write and draw on my screen if I want to and do all kinds of special effects, drag and drop images and all that cool stuff. Yes. But it didn't come with one. It came with two. Yes. So I'm going to have some fun with this bad boy. It came with a ton of software for me to have all kinds of fun with it. Like three different forms of... Is there another one in here? Yeah, I think there is two in this one. Hold on. Or is that just one? Ah, yes, yes, there's interactive software. So it came with the interactive software to allow me to write all over the screen if I choose. You know, it'd be pretty cool. I should buy another projector and put that projector downstairs in my gaming area. No, no, I'm sorry, upstairs. And no, no, I forgot to turn the basement to a gaming room. I mean, the attic into a gaming room. Take this projector, put it upstairs, and then when I play Madden and I kick somebody's behind in a game, I can draw out on the screen where you went wrong. So you just forgot to blow up there. Don't no, 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 embarrass you. This thing is amazing. Like, I haven't had a chance to work with this yet, but uh, there's not a lot of information on this projector on YouTube, but I will be posting it very soon. So, um, came with everything. And let me see if I can find the remote control. So, and here's the remote control that came with it. Right there, there's the remote control that came with it. This thing came super minty. Look, now mind you, look at the size of the projector, right? I want you to look at the size of the box this thing came in. This is the size of the box my projector came in. When I first got here, I was like, oh God, it's not a CRT, because CRTs are huge. And I'm thinking, how am I going to mount this thing? And I'm thinking it's a really big projector when I got here but this is the packing that this fellow went through to make sure the projector didn't get damaged keep in mind like I said I could drop this thing down a flight of steps and it wouldn't even break look at all the packing this guy put in here awesome awesome job I love it and keep in mind it only cost me 40 bucks to have it shipped in I'd rather pay the extra money and with all this packing, then basically have my projector put in some really, really uh, light packing and somebody drop it and it gets busted. So he made sure the box was big enough so if this thing hit anything, there's plenty of room to dent up before it made contact with the projector. But, oh, there's my tree right there. Yes, I love it. I actually freaking love it. So I'll put the specifications on it. But other than that... It fills out the entire screen. My screen's 126 inch, 16 at 9. That's the size of my screen. And you can see how far my projector is sitting back. Now, when I had the Optima GT 5600, I had to actually put it on top of a box. This one just had to put it on top of the, put it on the floor, and that was it. And since I don't have any kids or dogs, I'm not worried about somebody coming by and, and messing it up. So, that's why I can have it on the floor. 
if I don't have kids and don't have any pets, I know, it's sad. One day I shall have kids, one day I shall have pets, so I can mess up my stuff. That's for another time. Anyway, so, uh, yeah, very happy with the projector. Um, I will be uh, uh, contacting the merchant, uh, getting his permission if it's okay for me to post his, uh, um, his eBay link um, to our page. Um, because, uh, he, like I said, he has some of them used. I haven't seen any there for five fifty for the price I got because mine was actually an open box, um, but brand new. He, he think he has them for around fifteen or fourteen hundred dollars, which is well worth it because this projector is actually quite worth more than that. Interactive projector, especially Sony's, would cost you a couple grand. I mean, easily a couple grand, about three grand, four grand easily. So yeah, very very happy with it. And this thing came mint. It came with everything in the box. So I got a lot of reading to do. I'm gonna brew me a big old cup of tea, and I'm going to read through this massive manual. The size of this manual. Well, actually, it's not all that. Some of it's in different languages, but whoo, man, this thing does a lot, man. It does a lot. I do like that it did come with um. The lens shift capability that I do like because one of the problems I had when I had the Optima and I love the Optima. Don't get me wrong, I do love Optima projectors. But when I had the Optima projector and I had it sitting like this, I had to make sure it was perfectly in line with the screen because my screen's 126, and if I were a little bit up or a little bit forward or this way or this way, I had to push the entire projector forward and push the entire projector back in order to get the fit. With the lens shift, I don't even have to move the projector. All I got to do is hit that little knob and it'll move the screen without moving the projector, which I do like. All right. Well, um, with that being said, I'm probably going to take it since I got it sized down here pretty good. I'm probably going to take it upstairs and play with it on the wallpaper screen and hook up my Sony up to it. So that'd be cool. Sony on Sony. Um, I do plan to order another Sony projector. Actually, there's a short throw Sony projector I don't own, so I'm plan to buy that one next but it looks like from here on in I'm going to be supporting Sony products because man like I told you when I got the um the FH what was the um I mean the VPL FH30 when I got that projector I was so impressed by that projector I went back in and bought another one from the same try to get one from the same merchant but he didn't have it he was sold out so I had to go to somebody else and get it so I got one for 300 I got the other one for 350 bucks and now I was I was talking about how I wanted to get an ultra short though Sony, so I was blessed to get one in the box, uh, still factory sealed, so it was an open box item. So now I got the ultra short though in Sony. So the next thing I want is I do want um I want a short though Sony. That's what I want next. And Sony does have another projector. I do have my eye on. It's actually the um, VPL FH thirty six. I want that one because not only does it have fifty three hundred lumens. But it has something called portrait mode, which will allow me to be able to turn the projector. Like, you know, you look on your cell phone. Okay, you know how you turn your cell phone this way? That's what portrait mode is. So I can set my projector up this way. I can mount it this way because there's a stand that attaches to it. And I can mount it this way, and it will project a portrait mode onto, like, onto, um the wall or screen or where we're going to put it at. Now, why would I want portrait mode? Because I plan to get one of those Raspberry Pi um, gaming systems. It has all those retro um, um, shooters where the games shoot up this way, you know, to make the shooter games like rated and all the different games. And I'm going to be using it just for that particular thing. I'm going to build my own form of arcade screen. It's going to have Pac-Man and all the other cool stuff on it. And that's what I want the portrait mode for. But unfortunately, those projectors are very, very expensive. Panasonic has one for about, about three or four thousand dollars. But if I drop down $400, I can get the 3600 and they have that option in there. So once that's done, I'm going to build that screen, stick it outside, and have some fun with it this summer. All right. Um, that's basically about it. I'm going to uh, relax a day. I got orders out today, which I'm happy, and I got more orders to get out on top of that. Um, that being said, I got to go because uh, it's uh, Christmas coming pretty soon or tomorrow it's just christmas eve so you all have a great holiday be safe out there and i gotta go god bless